SVD. Dragunov Sniper Rifle. It was developed almost 60 years ago, but it is still the main sniper rifle of the Russian army. Sniping is an art, a fusion of different types of knowledge and various skills. A sniper can fully realize his potential only with good weapons. This is exactly what the Dragunov sniper rifle is, a legendary weapon made in the USSR. In the Red Army, the three-line rifle was the first rifle for sniping. The telescopic sights for it were first purchased in Germany. They started their own production of optics in the early 1930s. But sniper rifles are not all telescopic sights. The production of rifles is always controlled with the utmost care. The tolerances for the sniper rifle were twice as low as those for the standard rifle. Each three-line rifle was shot by a test shooter in a factory shooting range. The operational accuracy was tested with the help of a special reference target. Four shots were fired from a distance of 100 meters for testing. The holes were to fit in a circle with a diameter of 8 centimeters. In addition to the three-line rifle, many snipers during the Great Patriotic War used the SVT-40. Tokarev self-loading rifle, model of 1940, legendary Lyudmila Pavlichenko very much appreciated this weapon. But after the war, the snipers of the Soviet army were still armed with three-line rifles. They were not replaced for almost 20 years. Only by 1958, tactical and technical requirements for a new sniper rifle were developed. Many gunsmiths of the Soviet Union took part in the competition for its development. The design team led by Yevgeny Fyodorovich Draganov was the most successful. Yevgeny Fyodorovich mainly developed sporting weapons, but it was the SVD, the Draganov sniper rifle, which brought him worldwide fame. In 1963, it was adopted, and in 1965, its serial production was launched. The Draganov Sniper Rifle, the SVD. 7.62 by 54M cartridges. The magazine capacity is 10 cartridges. Its weight together with a load of magazine is 4.3 kilograms. The rifle range is 1,300 meters. The muzzle velocity is 830 meters per second. A special sniper cartridge for the SVD was developed at Zhniedek Mash. In addition to sniper cartridges, it is allowed to use cartridges with ordinary, tracer and armor piercing incendiary bullets. This semi-automatic rifle gets power from powder gases discharged from the bore. The sniper does not have to carry out unnecessary movements to reload the weapon. After the shot, the SVD is immediately ready to shoot again while the magazine has cartridges. The muzzle is equipped with a flame arrester. It significantly reduces flash intensity when shooting at night. A bayonet knife can be attached to the SVD for hand-to-hand -hand fight. The PSO-1 with fixed magnification is the main telescopic sight for the SVD. This is a reticle of this telescopic sight. This is a rangefinder scale. It helps to find the range to the target. The rangefinder scale is positioned so that the target is placed between the horizontal and inclined lines. 
The stroke located above the target indicates the distance to the target that is 170 centimeters high, average human height. The obtained range is set by the hand knob. The top chevron is aimed at the target at a distance of up to 1,000 meters. If the distance to the target is more than 1,000 meters, then the lower chevrons are aimed at 1,100, 1,200 and 1,300 meters respectively. In the late 1980s, a new site was developed for the Dragunov sniper rifle. It was named PSP-1. PSP stands for the Sniper Pancreatic Site. A pancreatic site is a site with variable magnification, from 3 to 9. This site makes it possible to shorten the time of target detection, to increase the guidance accuracy and, as a result, to shorten the time of target destruction. The PSP-1 site was produced by the Belarusian Optical and Mechanical Association. Some of the sites entered service, but the collapse of the Soviet Union did not allow re-equipping all the sniper rifles with a new site. There are certain rules for aiming that future snipers are taught. The telescopic site should be placed at a certain distance from the eye. If the eyepiece is too close, the shooter will see a circular shadow in the field of view. It should not appear, since in this case the field size is significantly reduced. If the eye is shifted upward or aside from the main side axis, crescent-shaped shadows will appear in the field of view. This is also wrong, since in this case bullets will deviate to the side opposite to the shadow. To aim correctly, you need to set the crosshairs on the aim point and watch out that the field of view is completely clear and no shadows are present. The skill to correctly position the eye against the eyepiece is developed through systematic training. It is equally important to correctly pull the trigger. You should exhale and then hold your breath while shooting. Jerking the trigger causes an accurate shooting. The proper trigger pull can be demonstrated by putting the finger of the instructor on the finger of the trainee and gently squeeze until the trigger is released. The airborne troops also had snipers, but it was difficult to parachute with the SVD because it was quite long. Therefore, in the mid-1990s, a modification of the Dragunov sniper rifle, the SVDS rifle, was developed specifically for the airborne troops. It was distinguished by a folding metal buttstock, a shortened barrel and a different flame arrester. The airborne rifle in the folded position is shorter than the standard SVD by almost 35 centimeters. At the same time, the ballistic properties of the rifle decreased insignificantly. The walls of the SVDS barrel are thicker. This reduced the oscillations of the barrel when shooting. There is another shortened version of the Dragunov sniper rifle, the SVU as. It is developed according to the bullpup design. The magazine is located behind the pistol grip. The rifle is equipped with a foldable bipod for greater stability when shooting and it can fire bursts if necessary. The barrel is equipped with a muzzle device, which acts as a flame arrester, a muzzle brake and, to some extent, a silencer. The SVU as was adopted by the MIA Special Forces as a sniper rifle for urban environment. In the early 2000s, the SVDK was developed. It represented the Dragunov sniper rifle chambered for the large caliber cartridge of 9.3 mm. The main objective of this rifle is to defeat the enemy protected by heavy bulletproof vests. The SVDK can hit the targets behind light barriers, as well as knock out unarmored vehicles. The convenient pistol grip and folding metal buttstock are inherited from the airborne version of the SVD. 
As for the rest, the large caliber rifle is surely different from it. The receiver, the bolt carrier group and the gas port are redesigned for a larger and more powerful cartridge. The shooting accuracy and the operational accuracy of the SVDK are just as good as those of the SVD. In fact, it is possible to work with a more powerful cartridge at the same distances and with the same results as with the SVD. During the years of service in the armed forces, the SVD proved to be the best. It is still in service and rightfully considered one of the best army self-loading sniper rifles in the world. The SVD has a great operational accuracy and it offers high reliability. These qualities are especially needed for army sniper weapons, 